By now, probably most of you have heard that the new map Oasis is on the PTR server for testing. So let's just skip the whole intro thing and take a closer look at where you could position yourself to gain an advantage, at least in the um, early days of the map. So obviously the map is brand new and no one really knows where the meta will shift and how the um, positions on the map will change. But just as a first look, I had uh, a few positions, I think, that are quite interesting to look at and maybe um, giving the advantage you need for the first few days, maybe weeks. The first position I wanted to talk about is obviously the new shiny toy, the jump pad. So the jump pad is on the city central part of the map. It is a control point map and so we have three phases of the map. And this is the most straightforward phase, I think. But let's talk about the jump pad. So the jump pad is more off to the side of the point. It allows you to get onto the high ground that is actually positioned in a way that you can directly shoot down onto the point. So the high ground in itself is a very good position. And what makes it even better is that the jump pad is the only way to get onto the high ground. Except ab abilities, obviously. This makes it kinda safe and the perfect position for maybe a soldier or a McCree. In addition to that, the jump pad gives you the a little bit more of a boost when you use it. So you're getting actually higher than the high ground is. So you can use this um, brief moment to maybe time it with your ultimate and get a massive play of the game ultimate from a higher position directly onto the point. The next position is on top of this building that is um, in the middle of the point which is basically the perfect spot for Afara to land and use her rockets to shoot down onto the point and even into the direction where the enemies come from when they respawn. I think those two positions are the most interesting one on this map part and the rest is just um, straightforward mid-range to short-range combat. Moving on to the next phase of the map, University. So this part of the map has this interesting hole in the middle of the point that um, allows access to a low ground, which um, splits up into um, two routes where you can go from. The short one goes directly back up onto the point and the longer one goes um, more um, towards the respawn points. With a big health pack position down there in a way that you can directly jump on it, it is the perfect escape route for um, tight situations on the point. Also, you could go through the um, low ground first and then boost up onto the high ground directly onto the point. I think for maybe, for example, a D.Va ultimate um, boosting out of the hole could be quite interesting, as well as a May ultimate, as May can um, also boost herself up through the hole with the, her wall. We will have to wait and see what um, cheesy strategies teams come up with. Um, other than that, this map has also a little bit of a high ground. It's directly above the entrance where you would come out if you take the short route out of the um, low ground. So this is obviously the perfect position for a soldier again or a McCree as it allows to um, shoot directly onto the point and also on um, in the direction of the enemies. In the third map phase we have a lot of different routes and it is probably the most flanker based part of the map. With multiple parts that lead to the point, it remains to be seen which one will be the preferred one. But if you are new to the map and you don't really know how it works, most people will take the straight ahead part. And this is where the Bastion Cheese might probably be quite useful, as you can speed boost a Bastion to get into a position where the enemy team uh, come through. As the straight path um, is set up in a way that both teams collide very quickly and have to walk by each other. Another position that has some potential to be quite cheesy in the early days, but will um, remain valuable or viable in the um, future, is this high ground on top of the point. So normally a high ground is not in the capture range of the point, but this one is. So um, this makes pretty much this high ground, this little piece of um, terrain, is the most valuable position on the point. As you can stand up there, shoot down onto the point and can capture or prevent capture. Especially in the beginning, 
a lot of people won't know that and um, won't really look for enemies up there as it is quite well protected and you don't really see up onto the high ground from the low ground on the point so you actually have to uh, walk up the stairs to see if anyone is up there okay so those are the interesting positions i found so far if you have found anything else or think i'm completely wrong just let me know down in the comments other than that thank you for watching and maybe see you in the next one